Bitch don't kill my vibe. Bitch don't kill my vibe. Bitch don't kill my vibe. Look inside of my soul and you can find gold and leave me get rich. Look inside of your soul and you can find gold and leave me get rich. Hey, we're gonna get off of this and get right into the debate of the day. The debate of the day is Stephen A. Smith bothered by LeBron James' response to the NBA Finals loss. All right, let's check it out and see if he really bothered or not, man. All right, so let's get into it, man. Uh oh, wrong one. I guess I'm connected. I can say. Nope, I gotta pass the ox. <laughs> Cause I ain't got no uh the Wi-Fi connection. Pass the ox. Hook up the ox to it. Alright, let's go. LeBron isn't losing sleep over losses anymore. New perspective there. Max, do you have a problem with what he said? Not only do I not have a problem, I applaud it. I think it's the right attitude. Now, look, I know what he's saying. Do have a problem with it? It's because basically he's saying basketball is not life. Mm -hmm. And by the way, other athletes, Kevin Durant made similar comments a couple years ago before he ever won a title. Hey, if I never win a title, it's not life and death for me. And you think that doesn't sound a lot like Kobe Bryant, right? The last great star yeah, yeah, yeah. from the previous era. It's supposed to be mean everything to you. But LeBron's mental game is where he has made more improvement than anywhere throughout his career. The guy, the kid really still, I mean, he was grown, but he was still not all the way mature mentally and emotionally as an all-time great basketball player who cost Miami the finals by choking in four consecutive fourth quarters. Wow. That guy made a miraculous transformation, an unbelievable transformation from that into a guy who's had some of the greatest performances in the history of any American team sports finals. Think of what he did even in the loss to the Warriors when he, when Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving weren't there. He was out of his mind great, and he followed that up with another equally great performance in a championship win against a 73-win team. The way he made that transformation, Stephen A., is with emotional and mental maturity. It's like a closer in baseball. You have to have a short memory. When Mariano Rivera melted down on the mound in 2004 to the Red Sox, they were about to sweep the Red Sox, likely beat the Cardinals to win their fifth out of six World Series championships, the Yankees. Rivera melts down. The next day, next year opening day at, at, at Fenway Park, the Boston fans are on their feet applauding Rivera, messing with him. He doffs his cap. No, hey, I'm glad you're happy. Now I got to get on to the next thing. LeBron is here saying he's not going to be haunted by memories of failure. You know what that means? He's not afraid to fail. And when you're not afraid to fail, it frees you up to succeed. That is what's happened with LeBron James. I not only don't have a problem with it, I think it's excellent. It shows maturity and a championship mentality, actually. All right. First of all, yes. <sighs> LeBron James is saying that, you know what I'm saying, it's not life or death, you know what I'm saying, that's not life, you know what I'm saying, after this, you know what I'm saying, when the season's over, I'm going back to my life, I'm going back to raising my kids, doing my family thing, hanging out with my friends, you know, doing stuff, you know what I'm saying, it's normal life, so yes, in that aspect, I do understand what LeBron James is saying, you know, he's saying like everything is not about, you know what I'm saying, about basketball once it's done it's done i came here to see what i can do and if it, in the process while i'm doing it excuse me i win championships then good but i mean you know what i'm saying if i lose you know what i'm saying so what it's not a big deal you know what i'm saying it's just give you critics some stuff to you know what i'm saying to talk about you know what i'm saying so y'all can have a job so in that case you know what i'm saying i don't you know what i'm saying i don't you know what i'm saying i'm not bad at him for saying that I would have said the same thing. Like, you know, I I would be pissed too that I didn't win. You know what I'm saying? I supposedly choked during those third quarters, but hey, I tried and I failed. So what you can't say I choked. You ain't never been in that situation, so we don't know what you're gonna do. So stop talking about he choked and just, you know what I'm saying, get on with it, you know? Alright, let's see what Stephen A. Smith got to say. 
I'm disgusted by what I heard him say, personally. I completely and utterly disagree with you, and I will ask you to indulge me with your patience while I say what I have to say, because I think it's very, very important. LeBron James, if his family is watching, I want to make sure that I emphasize something. LeBron James is, a, is the best player in the world. In the world. He's right a phenomenal now. role right model. Now. The manner in which he has conducted himself as a professional athlete is something that is to be incredibly commended. Not only should his wife, his mom, his confidants, his children all be incredibly, incredibly proud of him, but the rest of us should be incredibly grateful to him for the level of excellence he has strived to give us throughout these years. I'm gonna miss LeBron James when he's gone. And I'm thankful for everything that he's given the game of basketball and the world of professional sports. I ain't gonna miss him like I miss but Jordan and Iverson. Do. Them boys put on the well, show when they play. About. You know? And when LeBron James names, goes too, that but... route, it ticks me off. And the reason it ticks me off is because it implies that somebody is questioning those things about you. Who questions him as a father? Who's questioned him as a man? Who's questioned his philanthropy? Who doubts that he loves his children and he wants to see? Look, we have children, Max. We want the same thing. We don't bring it up when we're talking about particular subjects because that's not the subject. The question to LeBron is about basketball. And it seems to me like this disconcerted effort, which is what I bring up consistently about controlling the narrative, where you want to focus on something else when everybody's talking about <laughs> basketball, oh, you man. lost five finals. I appreciate the fact that you bring that up. I don't want to hear Dang. from a guy who's in pursuit of championships, who's chasing the GOAT, his words, okay? Who's chasing that to, to start pontificating about stuff that's got nothing to do with it. The fact of the matter is, is that if I'm a reporter and I'm asking you about basketball, I didn't come up to you asking you about you as a parent. I didn't come up to you asking you about you as a uh, husband. I didn't man. come up to you asking you about you as a child or your philanthropy because we all know you're phenomenal in that regard. I'm talking about the game. You're about to go up against a reigning defending NBA champion and NBA Finals MVP who man. smoked you in five games. And so what I want to talk about is what I'm asking about. If we came to these guys and asked them questions about their personal life, Nine times out of ten, they'd be offended because they don't have anything to do about the game. But the second you bring up something critical about the game, let mm. me lean on my default position and bring up something that's irrelevant. I don't like that. And the reason I don't like that's that, Max, point. is because uh. it has nothing to do. Nobody's ever questioned anything. And if anybody were to talk about LeBron James, the person, the man, the husband, the father, his charitable donations, man. I'd be all over them. Because the dude as a professional athlete is as close to perfection, maybe, that we've ever seen. But when it comes to your performance on the court, uh. I want to know about that. I asked you about basketball. I'm talking about you losing five NBA Finals. I'm talking about you going up against the Cats that knocked you off in five games and despite the fact that you recorded a triple-double and you had the team loaded that you wanted, you still got smoked. And oh, by the way, you're about to go up against them again. again. It's again. Christmas. I'm not yeah. trying to I come at you LeBron mean. in a negative way, but I'm like, come on, bro. We ain't talking about that. Stop. Oh man, Stephen A. Smith got a, a a hell of a point, man. I didn't I didn't think about that point, that 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 part aspect of it until Stephen A. Smith just just came and laid it out on. Oh uh, man, he got he got a point, man. You know what I'm saying? You talking about basketball? So so if they led with that conversation about your 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 family and stuff like that, you would you would turn them down real quick, like hey talking about basketball here so y'all reporters got to get a little smart with it then trick them <laughs> trick them into you know what i'm saying into that conversation start off with you know what i'm saying how's your family life how's your you know what i'm saying how you treat you know, sending your family stuff at him real quick and then see what he say see if he turned down and be like you know we're talking about basketball here give me some conversation about basketball and then you hit him with uh you know what i'm saying <laughs> about the basketball stuff and see what he's saying. But Stephen A. Smith, you got a point. 
but you know what I'm saying, y'all reporters or whoever got to get more slick about it and try to trip him up. So he won't be able to, you know what I'm saying, just go back and say, you know what, basketball is not everything. It's about family. So tell me what y'all think, man. If y'all think LeBron was, you know what I'm saying, y'all was okay with what LeBron said or not. All right, man. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. You know what I'm saying? I'm out. Peace.